Hey everybody, and welcome back to another installation of One Broke Biker. My name is Lloyd, and uh, I live here in Nova Scotia, Canada. Uh, last time you see me was two years ago when I was trying to resurrect this thing. So, anyways, um, after two years of it sitting yet again, so it's been sitting now for seven years in total. I uh, finally got it going. Well, I didn't. I took it to Bentley Motorcycles just down the road here. Heard a lot of good things about them, so I decided to take the bike down to him to get her going because I was getting frustrated of trying to get it to go and it wouldn't go. Um, I had another mechanic tell me that I had to change my pipes and that was the reason why my bike wouldn't start <laughs> which I thought was funny because it always ran it ran like a champ and so anyway um, I took it down to Bentley Motorcycles and um, he changed the, the rubber o-ring type gaskets that are in behind the uh, intake manifold from the carburetor so the air filters here carburetor is in behind that and then there's a manifold that comes off to this cylinder the manifold goes back to the other cylinder there's two round o-rings that go in there or a couple o-rings and anyways that was the issue uh, you give it a tune-up change the oil all that jazz uh, fix the wire here on the signal light that was not working and since I got it I've discovered that I got some good cracks in my tires. Look at that. Not in my tires, but in my tire. And, uh, anyway, everything's working on it now. Um, he did put a new... Sorry, I'm, I'm just scooting around here on my little shop chair. Uh, he did put a new choke uh, bracket on there. So now my choke actually works and stays out. Um, not too sure what else he did to it because I couldn't never get a uh, um, receipt for the work that he did. I just know that it cost me like 1100 bucks. Uh, he had my bike. I took it down to him in June and I got it back in August. Uh, and to be quite honest, I haven't had a chance to ride it much. I've been out on it a couple times, but I didn't make a video because, well, I didn't know if it was going to stay running or what. And I just wanted to make sure before I made a video. And... I um, I've been just too busy working. I own my own business, and it keeps me quite busy. So I uh, I haven't had much time to ride it. I do have to make a new tank bib to go on there. The old one had a little pouch on it for putting my insurance papers and stuff, registration, all that neat jazz. But uh, I gotta make another one for there. I gotta I might make a new leather seat. I'm not sure. That one. I do leather work as well, so I might take this one here and use it for a pattern, take it apart. Anyways, I got uh, it's tore up, there's some chips in the paint back there. I don't even know how that done, how that happened. But there's some colors, different colors in that paint. And I think I'm gonna patina this bike because there's some rust on it, as you can see. Sitting for seven years in that trailer. She sweats in the winter time, as you can see all the corrosion going on there with the chrome peeling off that aluminum hot, uh, risers which they're going to be changed there's some red in that paint there in the fender and that fender i slipped one day i was pushing it backwards and i slipped my my arse landed out here and it crushed that so i'm either going to pound that back out or i just might remove the friggin fender all together <laughs> anyways the bike is running now um no, it's not on silent mode. Here, I'll set it up for you. It should run because I just had it going. I actually made this video and I didn't like it, so I had to start it over. There you go. Runs like a champ. Yet again. So, the other one's in here. I gotta get it out and get it going. The battery needs to be boosted in it. And I gotta take it for a ride. I might do that tomorrow. 
But anyways, I thought I'd make you a short little video just to let you know that I finally got the bike going. I'm you <laughs> excited about that. And uh, I'm gonna. I'm, I've been inspired here lately to make some more videos. I've been trying, but we've had the weather. I mean, like if you look at those clouds today. Yeah, the sun is up there, but and she looks like blue sky over there. But like, there's a lot of dark spots in those clouds and. Usually around here, it's going to call for rain. The seagulls are flying high, so I don't know. Winter's coming anyway. It's like there's no leaves on the trees. This is November 1st, and I usually still got leaves. Some, anyways. Not all dropped off, but this place is empty of leaves. That's my pine trees, so poplars. My big oak down front there. Or right there. Anyway, I don't know what I'm rambling on about. <laughs> oh, God. I haven't done a video in two years, so yeah, I'm rambling. But anyways, there's the old beast. She's uh, running fine, and we'll make a new video um, again soon because I got to get it in that sh workshop to uh, do some work to it. Just clean it up. Do some patina work. Shine up what chrome is on it. And... Uh, Make her beautiful again. All right. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. I really appreciate you coming back, and thanks for the 10,000 plus uh, views. Um, I wish people would watch more than 3.18 minutes of it. I wish they would watch the whole video through. And uh, uh, if you like this one, go watch the last one, and then subscribe to both of them. Or subscribe to the channel, whatever you call it. Anyways, talk to you. Peace. Cheers. All that good jazz.